Living on the Edge 4 is our fourth community gathering. We are talking about something we call stewardship. That's the idea that communities would come together to produce and to take care of public assets. This is a function traditionally reserved for state or public sector actors. We see them failing and we wonder whether maybe we could be better candidates. I think that networks like Edge Riders, these are the places where we can see the seeds of what's coming next. This is not an event where there are staff and some people are attendants and like this. Everybody makes this thing together. This is a foresight exercise. Working at the UNDP, I come here and I visit different sessions and I see what, hear what people are talking about. Um, and, and it's something to bear in mind. It's something that may become mainstream in the next couple of years for us. So far as I'm concerned, the financial model is broken and uh, it's ill-serving uh, giant populations uh, as inequality grows more and more. We need to look at alternatives that really do engage everybody in thinking differently and working and behaving differently for everybody's well-being. This lovely woman, she came up to me and said, excuse me, can you, can you tell me what, a steward, what stewardship is? The, the only way I know it is that man on the plane. Um, I told her I had the same problem. I think it's interesting because I don't feel that we as individuals are programmed to be stewards. I think it's a real psychological distance because it's about taking care of things for other people and in this case the future. I think we want to get to um, a new economy, a new sustainable, equitable place. And so how do we get from here to there? But the problem is when the state is running the game or a big corporation is running the game, the knowledge is quite concentrated. When, uh, when people and citizens try to do it, the knowledge is dispersed. So the, one of the main issues is how you, you gather this knowledge to turn it into a project, into something, a project which is sustainable, not just just financially, but in terms of individual commitment, which is more important. Let's collect the patterns of how um, the open source economics can work and also where are our limits, whether we need the policy makers for really fixing stuff that's broken. A lot of the projects seem like they may come at odds with law, or at least some of the proposed laws that exist in the European Union, should they ever become successful. So. Rather than thinking of this as being about how do we persuade the state to support us, perhaps it's more a question of how do we support the state not to beat the hell out of us when we begin to support ourselves. The need to understand what it is we are doing, what are the implications of that, how does it affect other people, how do we even know we are helping? The bottom line is that networks have to be exercised or they fall to pieces. So the purpose of having these focal points is that you get a much higher quality of discourse that then disseminates back out through the networks. Creating this community of people who are trying to do these difficult things that are way outside the system of normal things is a really important piece of work. I'm really glad I came.